are the artist and creator of The Devil's Panties. Which yes, I am at, at thedevilspanties.com. Awesome. So, yes. So I have one question for you, which is, uh, what was a very challenging aspect of doing a webcomic, and what have you figured out to try and overcome those challenges? Um, posting regularly every day. Uh, there comes a point when you realize that you didn't have anything back for the next day, and it's three o'clock in the morning. Um, or you're you're in a really warm bed with a really awesome person, um, and you realize you you need to post for the next day. So I have said the words, "Honey, get off! I have to update." <laughs> So, so yeah, there, there is that moment of, of so you can cold conserve fear of, oh crap, I don't have design. an update for tomorrow. And that's <laughs> painfully and ironically it's when you like have the best updates. Because You spend eight hours on a joke and you're sitting there going, this is awesome, this is the best joke ever, and it has a resounding myth from the internet. And then you have that, oh crap, the post of desperation of, it's a bad joke, it's a bad joke, but it's done. Um, or it's a piece of crap, but it's a done piece of crap. So you post it and it's in Sharpie and stick figures on the back of an envelope. And it gets a thousand Check likes. <laughs> and you're like, you motherfuckers. <laughs> I spent ten minutes on that and you love it. And I spent eight hours on this brilliant Pete masterpiece and you no, care less about it. I know, I'm aware. So, so yeah, that's that's the most wonderful and the most terrible so thing, is that sometimes oh, the desperation fuels the, the best uh, ideas. Um, filler for the books of, oh crap, there's only 365 comics in the year, and I have a, a 300 page book that I need to fill, I need 900 comics, what am I going to use? Oh, I'm going to use a, a black panel, and it's going to be what not say in the bedroom. Yeah! And those turn out to be people's favorite ones, and I'm like, really? 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 I spent $60, so, $70. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's wonderful and it's terrible. Um, and it really is just a question of doing it. You don't know if it's going to work unless you just post it. And so you think that eventually if you keep posting enough, you're going to find those good ones. You'll find the, the bad ones and you'll figure out what works eventually. Dude, if I keep throwing the pencil against the wall, eventually it will stick. Well, thank you very much and have a good time. TheDevilsPanties.com is home to more booty than just the comic. You can also find information about a Devil Girl plush doll and what a leaf blower will be blowing up at Dragon Con this year. In 12 years of daily posts, The Devil's Panties has gained quite a following. One viewer in particular hung around just after my interview concluded. He was a member of our armed forces and served three tours in Iraq. But every day he checked into The Devil's Panties and got a little taste of home. When Jenny heard this, she insisted that the gentleman take something with him, free of charge. He flustered for a little bit, but eventually settled on a deck of cards. Thank you, sir, and thank you to everyone else who has ever served.